It's that time of year! It's the 1st of December today and we need to pop up to Tesco to get some bits and um, after doing our two shopping vlogs with me shopping on my own as soon as I get to the superstore the first thing that I do is pick up a basket and then Sean doing his challenge is... Well done! Lucky yeah. I saw in quite a lot of the comments people talking about the wheelchair accessible shopping trolley carts. The last time I used one of those wheelchair accessible trolleys was when I was first in a wheelchair, so I was like nine, ten, with my mum. And then it was just so awful, we vowed never to use them again. They were so bad. So it's going to be very interesting to see what it's going to be like if it's changed over the past 20 years. Let's see if our double my connection can get it sorted. What? <laughs> <laughs> Double connection! <laughs> Thank you! Alright, so I'm going to see if I can find the accessible trolleys. I'm a bit nervous, I have no idea how they work. We've got baby ones. Are they Oh god. So, of first impressions, it's looking really big. Um, so it looks like there's two sizes, which are revolutionary to me. So we've got this big one, and then we've got this smaller one here. The wheelbase is just as wide, yeah. but I'm going to go for the small one because I'm a bit... We're only doing a small shot. Yeah, so it looks like there's these, these hooks here. Uh, that I need to hook on to like my foot plates I'm guessing. This was the part I was most nervous about but it was actually really easy to do. One of the things I was worried about that it was going to keep coming off while I was going around the shop but they didn't come off once which was really good. There are actually instructions there. This looks pretty easy actually. You're not very good at it in the car, and you're not very good at it in the chair. How dare you! I'll move this for you. No, thank you. Do you reckon that's over a metre wide? It's about a metre wide. Yeah. You've kind of got to be careful and be aware of how wide you are. It's interesting, you have an obstacle. Alright, I'll move that one. Thank you. We're going to get any. Um... I hope you've got a license for that, Jake. <laughs> Alright, yeah, corner, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Oh, she cleaned it beautifully. I like this though. I definitely like, instead of having this on my lap, I feel like I can organise myself. Oh god, it's so hot. Right. Oh god. Yeah. Just go for it. It's quite annoying because there are gaps in the aisle but they've put all of their like stock containers in there so you can't get through. So I have to go all the way up to come back again. And also the visibility in front's not that great either. This is where my eye line is. So I can't look down in front of me which is like there's quite a way in front. I found this absolutely exhausting because I was so much wider I had to have even more room to get by and people had to move and it was oh excuse me oh uh, let me get out of your way oh uh, uh. it's weird being like I've never been in charge of a trolley before it's like one of <laughs> like umbrellas I've never had to use an umbrella and I don't know how to use an umbrella and I've never used a trolley before okay I've got a test for you Jen okay we're after blue tack aren't we yeah okay I've spotted where the blue tack is okay, okay it's down the bottom down there yeah, you gotta get it. Down there. Ah. Uh, Probably alright. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> but it's remember when easy. we had to get the candles? I think what I'm gonna do in this situation is take the basket off. 
I'm gonna hold on one wheel here to kind of support myself. That was quite hard because it was like underneath. That's okay. I think I'm gonna bring a novelty clown horn. <laughs> <laughs> I can just about reach the end but I think if you maybe have issues and you were paralyzed from like the chest down it might be a bit harder it I do feel like it's definitely slowing me down and it does feel heavier actually I zip around really fast because I can control it but I can't zip around Okay, I don't think I can do this in a rush. I knocked something off. Or it just jumped out of me. I think it jumped out. I tell you, I'll tell you something that is quite Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> Did you do the first one on purpose? <laughs> just throw a few obstacles in there for you. Because it's not hard enough. <laughs> Right, so we're just coming up to the cat food um, and usually just to go down the aisle is absolutely fine but because I've got a bigger wider load I need a wider berth to get around and these uh, shop assistants have left this kind of cart here which is making it quite hard like visibility as well it's almost like you need to pass a driving test to drive one of these I've just, I've, I've just thought, oh, I need to get it. In my wheelchair, I can just go and get it. But because I've got this massive thing, I'm going to have to move and get in closer. There you go, I did that easily. Yeah, but it is quite, remember, it is quite heavy. And then all these things, they do use up spoons and energy, and I can begin to feel it in my back. Other cat food brands are available. <laughs> I didn't, Sean didn't it's knock these down, it. but um, luckily I, I kind of looked before I moved, but if I didn't take a look on the floor, I would not have been able to have seen those. Oh, so look, we can get an idea, see? This is like my eye level, and I can hardly see those, but oh no! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Oh, it's a whole, it's a whole thing of actually, milk. Actually it's cat milk. Cat milk. We can do this, I can do this. But just remember, this is just more spoons and more energy. <laughs> They're gonna know it's me now. But I have got core stability. Pick other people who may not have the core or ability to do that. It's gonna be really hard. See, when I, whenever I've seen people using these trolleys, it's generally, gen, generally been older people out with like their carers or relatives, um, and they're being pushed. I don't often see people like myself using these. And is there a reason for that? It's probably because when I'm out and about, I don't often see people like myself, my kind of age demographic in a wheelchair. <laughs> All right. This is going to be a challenge. This really was a challenge. I had to almost sit on my side guard and nearly gave myself a mischief. I think I can. I think I can. I don't think you can. Oh, she can. They're all going to kill you. I'll get this for you. Thanks, Ron. Sorry geez. for getting it. Yeah. It's getting heavy now. That's it, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, definitely. I've reached my peak. a lot busier up in that main aisle but my I just stood my ground and I went straight in the middle 
parted the seas like Moses. Or Jesus. I got it right. Those, oh look, those are the mince pies. It's beginning to take a lot like Christmas. Smiles in every aisle. <laughs> <laughs> I think these look nice. I think the pastry looks nice on these. I'm finding like maneuvering is quite heavy and my thumbs are feeling it for some reason. Like on there, like I've got hypermobile thumbs and I'm really feeling the strain. Really? Mm. It's got plenty of room here. Let's have a look at your, your thumb action. It's when you do like the corners and stuff. This is pretty cool. There's like a little um, bottle holder there to keep it nice and um, steady so it's not rolling around. I'm going to get some ginger beer anyway. Yeah. And. Smashed it! Yeah! I'm the crowd does I appreciate something for a second. Cards. Look at all this stuff, right? If this was on my lap right now, I would definitely be feeling it. Oh, you couldn't? And, no. You couldn't carry it and also, even like if you suffer with um, pressure sores or very, very delicate, sensitive skin, putting a, a basket on your lap may not be an option, but this is a really great way of doing things like I'm not feeling any pressure on my legs. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, finger's stuck. Oh my god, if I did this it would go all over me, wouldn't it? I have hard enough time drinking coke from a cup. Alright, now concentrate, Sean. Turning is even harder. To the checkout. By this point I was beginning to feel the fog descend upon me like a Charles Dickens novel that I'm sure my fellow Spoonie friends can completely appreciate and understand. It's quite easy to reach everything on the trolley. road and uneven ground it's not easy. Are we putting the trolley back? Because what I would do for on my own is I would take it down to the car and then unload it and then take the trolley back which would be a... I'm not feeling it right now. No no it's fine. Yeah but we'll, we'll put it back now I'm feeling a bit um, done for. <laughs> oh, I'm free! Does that feel good to be free? Almost went straight into that car. Oh, I did not go straight and nearly straight into that car. Yeah, it feels That's great. Okay. I feel it's really made me appreciate how lightweight and easy and it is to move my lovely chair. I think the best way of describing it is having that trolley on you. It almost makes it feel like I'm pushing one of those big NHS wheelchairs around, those big heavy ones from the hospital. That's how I would describe it. Would I use it again if I came up on my own? No, I wouldn't. I would stick to my basket jobby, I think. These are a great thing that help us be a little bit more independent. However, if I was coming up here with Sean, for example, he would push the trolley. I feel that these kind of trolleys are more geared up for people who can't self-propel with their carers. If you were a wheelchair user who is quite strong and fit and probably doesn't identify with the spoon theory, then I think these are for you. However, I do identify with the spoon theory. I've got hypermobility, I suffer with a lot of chronic pain, I pull muscles easily, bones hurt, need I go on? So I really don't think that this is the best option for me. However, I was quite surprised at how easy they were to use. 
I'd love to know what you think of the trolleys. Let me know down below if you use the trolleys and what you think of them, or even if there's anything that you think can be done to make them better. I've been Jen. This has been Wheels No Heels. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.